In this video, I'm going to show you how to go from this, where you have branches next to the bird, and you might even have some branches covering up parts of the bird, to looking like this, where you have a really clean image. And I'll show you how to do this in Photoshop in only three minutes. This channel is all about bird watching and bird photography, so if you're interested, be sure to subscribe. Let's get into it. All right, so here I have my image. The first thing I'm going to do is select everything and do Command C and then Command Shift V. This just duplicates it and it is no longer here a smart layer, it's just a normal layer. So the first thing I'll do here is just clean up this stuff here. Just, uh, I had some smudges on my camera. What we're going to do is click on this here, the Spot Healing Brush. Now, if you're not seeing this, go to number eight here on this list and click on this little triangle here. And here you might be seeing one of these other tools. You're going to want to use the Spot Healing Brush tool. This is the easiest one. And now what you can do here is draw like this. And what you're going to do is simply draw in where these sticks are. Now that one there was quite simple, but you might have some that are a bit more difficult. Like if I draw in that there, you can see it doesn't do a great job of removing it. So the second option of what you can do when you're trying to remove sticks is actually drawing around the image or around the stick, sorry, like this. And what you're going to do is click on window and here you're going to click on the taskbar. Now, if you haven't used this, it's a reasonably new feature to Photoshop, but it's very powerful. And we're just going to click on generative fill. And here, Photoshop knows, okay, there's a stick here covering this object. So you don't actually have to type anything in here. It will understand and we'll just click on generate. Now, the busier it is, the more stuff you have going on in the image, you might need to describe it. But a lot of times, if it's kind of obvious like this one here, you don't need to actually type anything. All right, so it's generated and it gives you three options. So you can see option one of three here is just replacing the stick with another stick. So that's not very useful. But here I can see option number two, which is slightly more useful. And I can see option number three, which is easily the best, I would say. So I'll go with number three. So as you can see, the generative fill here, it's actually a separate layer that's sitting on top. So I can actually move this about here and you can see this here is what it's generated. So it's sitting on top of that. So that's an effective way to remove that. Now you might not want to remove too much because it might just ruin the atmosphere, but these kind of small details here might be nice to remove. So I'll do this one here. As you can see, it didn't do a good job. So I'll go back to using the taskbar. So I'll draw in like this. As you can see, it doesn't have to be a great job. Click on window, click on the taskbar and click on generate. So it gives me some options. This one here is the best I would say. And what I'm going to do now is combine these three layers here. So I'm going to hold down shift and select the three layers, right click and do merge layers. So now what I can do is keep editing on these branches here. And you know what? I might actually just remove this whole branch and I'll hide this bar. And now I have removed the branches from this image here. If you want to learn how to make the backgrounds of your bird photography blurry, then click on this video here where I do a full tutorial in only five minutes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in that video.